privilege now to introduce the Minister of Tourism for the Kingdom of Morocco, Dr. Haddad. He has had a wide ranging and varied career, touching on academics, management systems, sustainable development, and more. He's a political analyst who regularly appears on national and international TV. He publishes on all manners of topics and in several languages. We're honored to have him here with us today. I know he will introduce some of the other dignitaries, and I would like to give a warm welcome to Dr. Haddad. The reason that we're here is because of his vision. So please, join us. Morning. Morning. Uh, it's a real honor for me to be here, ladies and gentlemen, at this uh, Global SPAN Summit. Uh, it's real honor for us in Morocco to welcome you all. Uh, you honored us by your presence, by your ideas, by the fact that you are here, by your innovative thoughts you're looking forward. And we're really, it's a good opportunity for us in Morocco as well to be able to share uh, our culture, our generosity, uh, the fact that we have also very millennial tradition in the well-being and in, in, uh, in uh, the culture, actually, of, uh, of bien-être, as we say in French. Uh, so it's uh, really an honor and also a great uh, treat for us that you are all here. So please, I give you a special welcome. Welcome also to Ministro Secretario de Turismo de la Ciudad de México. Bienvenido. Uh, encantado por su visita. Uh, we are really uh, uh, excited about this event. And uh, since the time when the people who are organizing it came to see me, I really jumped on this occasion and said, yes, this is a great thing. And uh, I, I didn't know anything about wellness and spa, by the fact. I mean, just like I'm a consumer. Uh, of, of spa and wellness, but I don't know about the industry, and since then I have been able to really try to understand what it means, uh, spa and wellness. And also I understood, I tried to understand what it means for my country and also for the tourism in Morocco. You know, Morocco is, is a real tourist destination and we're trying to develop it. We have a grand plan, we call it the Vision 2020, and in that vision we are trying to push Morocco to be one of the leading nations in tourism by the year 2020. We try to get to probably like 18 to 20 million tourists who want to double the revenue of tourism or like also to make it a sustainable destination, sustainable tourism destination in the Mediterranean. So we are doing all of these grand plans of developing the infrastructure, also developing the human resources, the capital, and also giving all kinds of incentives to investors so that they could invest in Morocco. We're getting there, of course, I mean, like the crisis and what is happening around the world does not help, but we are really like, we have the, the will and the political will and also the will of His Majesty who really looks into tourism as an opportunity for the creation of wealth and jobs. And I, I, I personally believe also that the hospitality industry is a real opportunity for the world economy to create wealth, to create also jobs, and to create this kind of, of gathering where people share and exchange between themselves. But we, we think also in Morocco that the wellness and the spa industry is a real opportunity for tourism also to develop this kind of sector with this value added uh, edge also, and also with the fact that it it touches upon real things in the culture. I mean, the, the previous speaker, and she was really great here on the stage and spoke about the real wealth of Africa. And I think that's a very important element that we really should tap into in order to develop the wellness industry. In Morocco, there is the Hammam tradition, which goes like thousands of years. There is the Hanna tradition. There is also the curing by, by heat. There is also the desert curing. All of those are very good practices, and I think they should be integrated into this consciously capitalistic venture, as you have said, they should all be integrated into that so that we could create real kind of, uh, of, uh, of industry of wellness. And I, I believe in it, and I think that this is, this is, about, this is about cultural exchange, this is about like well-being, this is about capitalism, conscious capitalism, and this is also about like 
creation of real wealth and sustainable wealth. So we are really honored that you are here. We are really honored that you come to share your ideas. We would like to learn from them. And I'm, I'm very sorry I could not be with you all the time, but I mean, like, there are people here from the organizing, from the Moroccan host, which is the company for, for La, La, La Société Marocaine d'Ingénierie Touristique, La Smith. They are the partner here in Morocco, and they are here with you in order to uh, share ideas. We would like to talk about Morocco as an opportunity for investment, both in hospitality industry and in wellness and, uh, and, and spa. So please bring your ideas, bring your projects, so that we can talk together about those. But we think, we really believe in Morocco that the wellness and spa is a real value creator. We believe also that the hospitality industry is a sector that creates wealth and jobs. And we believe that this is the future of, the, of, of world cultural interaction. I think tourism is about interaction and hospitality in industry is about encounters. And it's very important that in the wellness, there is that kind of aspect, which is cultural, which is the touch, which is the well-being, which is the sense of being, of, of offering yourself and offering also your, your senses and your feelings and, and, and your, your culture to, 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 to some sort of encounter. So we'd really like to, to encourage that kind of thing. So I would like to conclude by saying, please uh, feel that you are here in your own country. Marrakesh is a beautiful, magical kind of place. Uh, if you don't know the history of Marrakesh, it was created in the 12th century. It's a Berber Arab town. It's a Berber town that has been Arabized, but it's also a very multicultural kind of spot. spot. And it's one of the very rare oasis in the world where it's an oasis in the middle of like the mountains and the seas. And so there is no desert in Marrakesh, but once you are in Marrakesh, you feel like you are in the desert. That's the magic of Marrakesh in terms of ecology. But there are also all kinds of magic about Marrakesh in terms of its Medina, its sounds, its smells, and all of that. So please enjoy that. And you are really our guests, and your well-being in being in Marrakesh is also our concern. Thank you very much. <laughs>